What's going on guys? How you doing? Uh, as always, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I have a few updates for you uh, regarding the uh, transaxle. Um, I have decided that instead of just putting it back together just so it'll work and uh, doing it later, I've decided that I'm just, while I have it all apart now, uh, I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and tear it all down and rebuild everything on this thing, which is going to push the finish date of this project back farther than I was wanting to, but I would rather have it all done now instead of having to wait and, you know, having to do it later when I can just, you know, it's all out here right in front of me. I can just easily, you know, get done and get out of the way. So that didn't cause problems, you know, further on. So uh, the theory that I might be done with this thing by the end of this week is not going to be possible. Um, I, there is a, a tractor show um happening um off of 64 um this weekend this saturday at uh the center uh church it's called center church and they have their annual fair and i was planning on going to it and bringing this thing with me but as you can obviously see you know that's not going to be able to happen i i won't even be able to be there because um i've got to work so, and I already made that commitment to the guy that I'm working with. So, um, I won't be able to be there as I had hoped. So, uh, everybody that I told that I was going to be there, I'm sorry, you know, stuff comes up. That come up, I mean, it just, it happens. And I would, I would rather not take it there anyway, because with it being in this condition, I just... I just I won't be able to plus you know you know so um, yeah that's that's how that sits right now I'm pretty much going to take all of the internals that I'll probably make a, a rebuild video on this one as well probably going to take all of this stuff out clean it all up make sure it's all nice and working well and just go from there um, probably take that rim off of there and mount the wheels uh, but um, that's how that's sitting and um, I also have another update for you uh, I've been slowly working on this thing and um, I got this see these tires they're not secure onto the axle I'm having to modify the axle to be able to do that but that one I still got to do, but this one I've done, and I'll show you what I did on it. Pretty much what I did is I took a drill bit, and I bored into that little axle right there, and I took a grade 8 bolt and a humongous washer, and I pretty much uh, tapped, and tapped the hole and um, put that bolt in it, and now it... It ain't going nowhere, and I also um, put a little bit of uh, Loctite on it too. So yeah, it ain't going nowhere. And now I just got that side to do, and then I'm gonna obviously put these wheels on here. And, uh, that's that's pretty much all I've done for right now. I, Tab gets eaten up so much when you're having fun working on stuff, and then you look and they're oh okay it's it's seven eight o'clock and you're still out in the shop doing stuff. I'm like, but I don't want to quit. I want to get it done, but it's just the way it is. Yeah, not um, I don't know when, but sometime here soon I'm going to be. Um, this is just the base coat right here, the khaki color. Uh, when I get actually get the four wheels on this thing to where I can roll it in and out I'll um I'm gonna do the rest of the camo paint scheme on this thing I don't exactly know when that's going to be I'm not really making any promises right now 
don't really know what I'm going to put the motor in either, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, and I got to get in this switch for it and all that good stuff, but, uh, that's, that's, uh, that, that's pretty much all for today, um, that I know of, but, um, like always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and uh, if you're stopping it for the first time, please subscribe. Take care of yourself. I'm out.